Now that you have an understanding of each table and chart, let's start our server sales analysis so that we can find problems that can be reduced and improvements that can be made to increase each employee's sales and the sales of the entire restaurant. To start our analysis, we will look at the chart titled Restaurant Total to see how the restaurant has performed over the last quarter and to look for any trends. Immediately, we can see that the restaurant's sales have been decreasing. So we have looked at the restaurant total chart and have detected a problem. Now we need to look a little bit deeper. We'll do this by checking out the employee performance chart. Obviously, we're going to take a look at look for any trends and also make some comparisons when looking at this chart. The two employees that stand out the most here are S. Thomas, represented by the purple bar, and J. Workman, represented by red. We can see that S. Thomas is the top performing server and J. Workman is the worst performing server. Another thing that stands out, but not as much, is that E. Roberts, represented by the green bars, was a well-performing server in January, but his sales have been declining. This could be our first clue as to why the restaurant's total sales have been on the decline this quarter. As for T. James and O. Todd, they look to be working consistently. S. Thomas is our top performer. Therefore, his level of performance is the level of performance that we want all our servers to strive to reach. The goals for each server should be to perform as well as S. Thomas. If each server performed as well as S. Thomas, the restaurant's total sales would be around $151,000 per quarter, $21,000 more than the restaurant's quarterly sales. To find out why S. Thomas is performing so well, let's take a look into what he is doing differently than the rest of the servers. To find out what S. Thomas is doing compared to the other em employees, we will also find out what Jay Workman, our worst performing server, is not doing. We will compare our top performer to our, our worst performer to show as much contrast as possible so that the differences stand out more. First, let's take a look at January's sales report. By looking at this, we notice that S. Thomas's sales are $61.71 per hour compared to only $46.56 per hour by Jay Workman. Let's take a look deeper into this to gain an understanding why S. Thomas's sales are so much more and why J. Workman's sales are so little in comparison. Let's look at each type of item sold by S. Thomas and J. Workman. First, we'll look at appetizers. In January, appetizers made up 23.72% of S. Thomas's total sales compared to only 18.45% by J. Workman. Appetizers tend to be an upsell item, so this may explain why S. Thomas has higher sales. Maybe S. Thomas suggests his customers order appetizers, and maybe J. Workman doesn't make such suggestions. This gives us an idea of what we could do to encourage those servers, especially J. Workman, to make a push for her customers to purchase appetizers. Next, we'll take a look at sandwiches. Sandwiches make up 12.85% of S. Thomas's total sales. Take a look at Jay Workman's total sandwich sales. Sandwiches make up 24.37% of Jay Workman's total sales. Jay Workman seems to be beating S. Thomas in sandwich sales. But why is this? Is this good for Jay Workman? It may take a little bit of thought, but if you analyze the situation a little, we can conclude that S. Thomas is suggesting the more expensive large entrees instead of just letting the customers choose sandwiches. S. Thomas is sacrificing his sandwich sales for more expensive large entree sales. Since S. Thomas sells more large entrees than he does sandwiches, his total sales are more. Since J. Workman sells more sandwiches than large entrees, her sales are less. When looking at salads, both S. Thomas and J. Workman sell about the same amount. Now let's take a look at alcohol sales. Alcohol sales make up 25.69% of S. Thomas's sales and only 18.45% of J. Workman's total sales. This seems to definitely be another reason why S. Thomas sales performance is so much better than J. Workman's sales performance. More than likely, S. Thomas is suggesting alcohol to his customers while also making recommendations. He may also have more knowledge about alcohol, therefore being more confident in his recommendations. Another thing that S. Thomas may be doing is suggesting multiple rounds of alcohol instead of waiting for his customers to ask. After all, it isn't difficult to persuade a customer to drink another drink after they've already started drinking. In our analysis, we're going to skip beverages and go straight to dessert. 
Although desserts make up only a small portion of the restaurant's total sales, you can see that S. Thomas again sells more than any other employee. This again is probably because he makes dessert suggestions to customers. If we were to continue this analysis for each month, February and March, we would get the same results. We would see that our top performers are selling more appetizers, more large entrees, and pushing alcohol. Now let's go back to our employee performance chart. Look at the trend from E. Roberts represented by the green bars. His sales have been declining three months in a row. This is more than likely the main factor that has caused the restaurant's total sales to decline three months in a row. E. Roberts' sales were strong in January, comp even competitive with S. Thomas's sales. If we analyze each month, we can see that E. Roberts has had a decreasing percentage of sales in appetizers, large entrees, and alcohol. He has also had an increasing percentage of sales in sandwiches and beverages. More than likely, E. Roberts used to work in the similar manner as S. Thomas, making suggestions and taking every opportunity to make an upsell. Now, it looks like he has become lazy and his work performance is trending towards the work performance of our bottom producer, Jay Workman. We need to find out what has happened to E. Roberts, talk to him, and find out what needs to be done to get him back to the efficient worker he was in January. From our analysis, we can see that employees that have a higher percentage of sales in appetizers, large entrees, and alcohol have higher total sales than those employees that have a higher percentage of sales in sandwiches and beverages. We need to hold an employee meeting and also meet with each employee privately to go over this information. In the employee meeting, we need to introduce our sales analysis results. First, introduce the results of the analysis to the employees. We need to do this in a tactful way so that we praise S. Thomas's hard work, but without degrading or discouraging Jay Workman and the other servers. We need to use S. Thomas's performance details as a benchmark for all employees to aspire to reach and to use his methods as an example of how to work more efficiently. All other more personal information that was derived from the analysis needs to be brought up in the private meetings. We need to go over an appetizer push. Tell the servers to push appetizers to every table. Explain to them that this only requires a spoken sentence or suggestion, but can increase each ticket sales anywhere from $10 to $40, depending on how large the party is. Back this up by showing or telling them S. Thomas's percentage of sales for appetizers and total sales. Have S. Thomas tell the other servers what he has been doing to have such appetizer sales. We also need to go to a large entree push. Encourage the servers to suggest larger expensive entrees more than sandwiches. Even if the customers don't ask for your suggestion, still try to push a more expensive meal. Again, show them the details of S. Thomas's sales report and have S. Thomas tell the service what he does. Then we also need to go over the alcohol push. Emphasize the importance of suggesting another drink, or even better, another round of drinks. Again, it only takes a simple suggestion or push and their customers have ordered another round that they wouldn't have ordered if they didn't get the push from the server. Once someone has started drinking, it isn't hard to convince them to drink a little more. Drinks are expensive and can greatly increase sales. Then we need to influence our employees. Without belittling the servers, remind them that their tips are a percentage of their sales. Therefore, they should be as efficient as possible while they are working. Show them how S. Thomas earns approximately $1,550 more per quarter in tips than most of the other servers. This should be a good enough number to influence the servers to tweak their sales pitch. Another thing you could do is maybe add some bonuses for top producers or some other kind of incentive that rewards a top producer. Maybe a free meal per shift for a month following their top producing month. In this tutorial, we used Microsoft Excel to generate a quarterly sales performance report for employees, more specifically servers. We created tables and used Microsoft Excel formulas to derive total sales, percentage of total sales, and sales per hour for individual employees and for the restaurant as a whole. We also used the information derived from the monthly reports and quarterly reports to create charts which gave us a picture to describe the performance of the restaurant and the servers. These charts showed us trends and comparisons in ways that analyzing numbers could not do. They also gave us a starting point for our analysis and led us in the right direction to go with our analysis. In this report, we recognized that the restaurant's total sales were decreasing, and through our analysis, we figured out why. 
We also recognized our top producer and our bottom producer. We compared these two employees and found improvement.